All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the June 4th City Council meeting. I'm going to call this meeting to order. And with that, we are going to have be led in the invocation by Councilmember Jim Kinneen and followed by the salute to the flag by Councilmember Patrick Harper. Those that are able to rise, please do so. Almighty God, we seek your help today. Come and let your wisdom fall upon us, O Lord, as we gather for the City Council meeting. Give us clarity so that we can effectively deliberate each part of today's agenda. Reveal challenging areas and show us the best solutions that will apply. Point, point our eyes to every positive outcome and let these favorable results and developments encourage every heart in this room. Dear God, help us apply your wisdom as we decide on all matters and make plans that benefit the future of our great city. This we pray in Yahweh God's name. Amen. Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Mr. City Clerk, if we could have the uh, City Council Successor Agency Housing Authority roll call, please. Councilmember Constantine? Here. Councilmember Kinneen? Here. Councilmember Harper? Here. Vice Mayor, Vice Chair Bowie? Here. Mayor, Chair Grandis? Here. All members are present. Thank you. And announcement of any supplemental communications? We have none. All right. Uh, let's go to our attorney for the city. Do we have anything from closed session that's reportable? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. On item one, there was no reportable action. Council was updated. On item two, there was no discussion. Item three, there was no reportable action. Council was updated. Item four, only one potential case was discussed and authorization was not given to initiate litigation. Item five, council gave settlement authority, but there was no reportable action. In item six, there was only an update, no reportable action. Okay, very good. Thank you. So I will now turn to our fantastic city manager for the city manager report. Yes. Thank you, Mayor and City Council. Um, we do have some upcoming uh, playgrounds maintenance closure. Uh, Westmount and Courageous uh, Playground from uh, June 3rd, 3rd through June 7th. We open after 4 p.m. on Friday, June 7th. We have uh, West Mount and Courageous Playground, I'm sorry, I apologize, Ellis and Stonecrest Playground from June 10th through the 14th, and will reopen after 4 p.m. on Friday, June 14th. Uh, Corada and Helm Playground from June 17th to June 21st, and reopen after 4 p.m. on Friday, June 21st. Uh, Nublis Park Playground from June 24th through June 28th, and reopen after 4 p.m. on Friday, June 28th. Uh, Public Works Yard Turf Removal Project um, on Mount Herman Street. The project consisted of replacing 3,100 square foot of non-functional turf with 440 drought-tolerant plants. Uh, Municipal Water District of Orange County has a rebate program, and the city received approval of up to $12,572, which is $4 per square foot upon completion. Kudo to Irwin. Erwin uh, Castillo, landscape inspector for the designing the project and work on our contractor for the transformation uh, with the start date on April 30th and completion on May 13th. The new landscaping will save approximately 138,000 uh, gallons of water each year. For more information on the turf replacement program with um, MDWOC, you can visit um, www.mddoc.com and search turf replacement. Summer class registration is open online at fountainvalley.gov and in person at Center at Founders Village, which is at Bouchard and Talbert, or the Recreation Center at Brookers and Ohio. So put on your dancing shoes or pick up a few sports uh, activity and many more. City Hall will be closed um, tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. to welcome 200 third grader from Cox and Courageous Elementary School to learn about local government operations, 
students are excited about our fire, police, and public works, cool equipment, but other function are just exciting like our city clerk, community development, community services, recreation, finance, HR, and IT too. So we cannot forget about our elected official as well. Uh, there is no planning commission on Wednesday, June 12th. Uh, Fountain Valley Chamber of Commerce uh, network at night on Thursday, June 13th at Summerfest. And City Hall is closed on June, June 8th, which is June 19th, for our Free the Files and team building activity in addition to our regular Flex Friday of June 14th and June 28th. So that concludes my update, Mayor. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, I have a few announcements for the mayor's message. Um, I'll try and go through them quick. So first, tomorrow, we have the ribbon cutting for the new navigation center, which is the unhoused shelter that we're in partnership with Garden Grove, Westminster, and Orange County. Uh, it's at 13871 West Street. We will have refreshments at 3.30, 4 o'clock. The program begins. Um, it's the first shelter that the city of Fountain Valley is a uh, partner part ownership in um, it's 11,363 square feet 85 beds with the capacity to expand to 100 beds so that's new for the city of Fountain Valley and we're excited about that tomorrow on June 13th through 16th Fountain Valley Summerfest this is the four-day event Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday of Father's Day weekend uh, the website, if you want more details, is summerfestfb.com. Uh, we, uh, they are uh, providing wristbands, uh, discounted wristbands online if you want to buy them in advance. It's, we're going to have a drone show on Friday night and Saturday night. Uh, there's going to be tons of music on the main stage, and then we have the community stage as well. And something new this year I'm super excited about is on Sunday, Father's Day, um, one of my goals this year is uh, inclusiveness and to integrate our community as best as possible. And on Sunday, we're going to have some really major Vietnamese acts on the community stage. So come out and check that out, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Again, June 13th through the 16th. Uh, OC San this Saturday has their open house uh, from 9 to 12. OC San is off of Ellis there. That's the new building with the pedestrian walkway, the first one we have in Fountain Valley. Uh, it's really an amazing tour. If you have not toured it again, I know it sounds crazy to tour a sanitation district, uh, but I like, like I always say, they reclaim 130 million gallons of water every single day. It's an amazing tour, and I recommend that you do that. Again, that's this Saturday from 9 to 12. Uh, the Classic Car Truck Show is coming up on June 15th, Saturday, June 15th, from 7 to 3, just outside where the Summerfest is going to be, over at our sports park on Brookhurst and Heil. And then this Friday night, from 7 to 9, our Advisory Committee for Persons with Disabilities is having a prom night dance over at the Senior Center uh, it's a fun event from 7 to 9. I think it's a dollar uh, to attend. And that is the mayor's message for the 